Good morning, my wonderful people. How are you doing? Welcome back to this channel. My name is Mr. Brainy, and in this channel, we teach students simplified way to pass exam, all kind of exam. Go and watch other video. You will see shortcuts. If you want to learn shortcuts, come to this channel. So I believe you subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. So today, by the grace of God Almighty, we will be teaching on urinalysis for your OSCE exam. Urinalysis for your OSCE exam. And I will be giving a shortcut, very fast and precise. The two things you should have in mind whenever you want to sit for an OSCE practical for urinalysis are division of two things. The first one is the physical properties. The second one is the chemical properties. Under the physical properties, we have what we call DOCAS. D O R C A S. DOCAS. In this channel, we give shortcuts. Even as I'm going to teach you oral care, I'm going to give you shortcuts. As I'm going to teach you cardiac bed, other beds, bed making, uh, um, wound dressing, I will give you shortcuts so that you don't forget it. So that when you walk into the hall, you walk in with confidence by the grace of God. So we have DOCAS, D-O-R-C-A-S. So D stands for deposit, O stands for order, R stands for the reaction of the urine, C stands for color of urine, A stands for amount of urine, S stands for specific gravity of the urine. So let's dive into the practical. You greet your examiner. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. My name is Mr. Brainy. I am here to carry out this procedure. One thing you should know that in OSCE, there are specific things that have specific mark. It's not just by talking and talking. You should know the specific things that have specific mark, which I am outlining in this, in this video. So you greet your examiner, very important. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. My name is Mr. Brainy. I am here to carry out so 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 and so practical this procedure. I'm here to carry out your analysis procedure. And number two, the half mark, you read out your procedure. I am carry out a procedure on Mr. Chooks. Carry out a procedure on Mr. Chooks, uh, obtaining his urine sample. That is your analysis. After that, you go and wash your hands immediately. You wash your hands, it has its mark. You dry your hands, it has its mark. You wear your glove, it has its mark. Once you are back, you check for your instruments, whether they are complete, and you say, Ma, my instruments are complete. It has its mark. Once you are done, you dive in immediately to the practical, which are divided into what? Two. Have it in your mind. It's two things you should not forget when you are sitting for your analysis and uh, OSCE practical. Two things. What are the two things? The physical components and the chemical components. And under the physical component, I told you it's what we call what? DOCAS. Let's say together, D stands for what? You are correct. Deposit. O, order, correct. R stands for reaction. C stands for what? Color. A stands for what? Amount. S stands for what? Specific gravity. Once you list all these, you have gotten your mark. You can't fail this exam again. But if you don't know this, once you enter the hall, you will just be talking and talking and you are not getting the exact point. So let's do the practical. So you lift up your urine sample and say, Ma, there are no deposits in this urine sample. But if there are deposits, probably like crystalline substances or blood, blood deposit or anything, you say, Ma, there are deposits or so there are deposits in this urine. But if there are not, you say, Ma, there are no deposits in the urine. You've got your mark. The next thing is odor. The normal odor for urine is aromatic odor. You, you just do like this. Ma, there are, the, it has a normal odor for a normal urine, which is what? Aromatic. You've got in your other mark. The next thing is what? The reaction. The reaction is with checking for the pH, whether it is acidic or more alkaline. And you know that normal urine should be slightly acidic. So you bring in your blue litmus paper and you dip it into the urine sample or you dip it into the urine sample 
and blue litmus paper should change from blue to what? Red or pink, as the case may be, depending on the school of thought. You dip it in and it change. You note it, ma. This urine is slightly acidic. You've got in your mind for that. The next thing is color. You lift it up and you check for the color. And you say, and the normal color for urine is amber color or pale yellow. Say, ma, the, this urine of Mr. Chooks has a normal color, which is amber color or pale yellow. You've got in your mind. After that, you check for the specific gravity, you bring in your urinometer and you examine for the specific gravity, which I will do. Are we together? You check for your specific gravity, you should know the normal range of the urine specific gravity. Maybe you are done with that, you, at this point now you cannot fail your exam again. Mm -hmm. It's not possible because you hit the exact point, you, you did hit the nail on the head. After that, you go into the second division, which is the chemical properties. The chemical properties. Now, that is now carrying out the exact thing that is written on your question, which you, you read out loud. Because some of you, if you don't know this, you will just go and start checking for sugar. Maybe they say you should check for glucose. You, leave, you left the physical components. You have already failed the exam and you just went immediately because it was not outlined in your question. So whether it is outlined in the question or not, you must carry it out fast and precise because of time in your exam. So now, because you've read out your question, maybe they said you should check for glucose in urine, they say you should check for protein in urine, and you know all this, that if they are present in urine, it is used for diagnosis of a medical disease condition. Alright, so you bring your, if it's for glucose, you bring your cleaning sticks and you begin to examine your chemical properties. Fastest things to do in your exam, you say, ma, there are no glucose in urine, there are no protein in urine. It is all listed on the body of this equipment on the screen. It's all listed there, there are no glucose. But in case they say the person is diabetic, the glucose in urine. Alright, if the person has nephrotic syndrome, you should know. Or kidney disease there should be protein in urine so but the best thing to do to avoid any problem is say ma the, the the findings are correct once you are done these are where points are again the next thing to do is to discard all the used things you remove your waste used growth discard all the used things and after discarding them you go immediately you tidy up after tidying up you go and wash your hands and dry your hands and finally very important you document once you document you've gotten your full marks once you document don't ever forget it even if the time is against you make sure you say i tidy up i document and you thank your examiner very important you say ma thank you ma thank you for sir or if it is something that has to do with the patient you say thank you mr chooks thank you uh, whatever the name of the patient is listed in your question, outlined in your question, thank you waiting with me to carry out this practical. You've gotten your full mark. If you are new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Then, if you are in need of past questions, short bets, and also uh, school's past questions, just chat me up or you drop your WhatsApp number, I'm going to add you to the WhatsApp group and I'll send you all of them and it's totally free. Why? For the glory of God, so that God will be glorified. God bless you, God bless you, and God bless you.